good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Uh, I want to do another tutorial today. I will check the time. Today is 1st December. The time is 2.26. And it's Saturday. Uh, a quick one. Today we want to see this is the fastest way to open program on your computer or let's say the most efficient way and this is helpful for a couple of reasons for example we know for example let's say if this is an icon of a program if you want to open it it's simple you double click it opens alternatively you can right click and then you go to open it opens um, and that requires you to put a whole lot of programs on your desktop so like you have uh, let's say SPSS here you have AP info here you have Word you have PowerPoint you have Excel you have access you have uh, basically all programs you use you are required to have them on desktop so that you can easily right click them or double click them alternatively or like without bringing them on desktop what will have happened is for you to go to where they are installed and then you click them for example if they say you want to open VLC if VLC is not on your desktop what that means is you have to go to programs where you do installations then you ask yourself is it a 32 bit application or is it 64 bit applications uh, if you don't understand that just ignore but what it means you just have to follow it to where it is and search for vlc and then this is it here so you click and then uh, hopefully it doesn't disgrace me and then it opens so ideally this is how every program is supposed to open on your computer you have to memorize where it is and if it's not vlc and some other program the same thing you have to go crazy to the installation and if it's not 32-bit application then that means you have to go to the to this folder to to trace it so that is it and to make it efficient that is why right after installation certain programs will bring their icons on desktop so that you can just there you click it or you right click it to you double click or you right click to open it now for example if at this point let's say i need vlc on desktop it's not there after installation it didn't come to my desktop how do i get it there it's simple the same place i went where installations normally go uh, let's see here we come to VLC you just have to look through and find the executable one like the application itself the icon and to see that if you um, arrange them in details if you right click menu view and then you arrange them arrange them in details and the type you see a type application uh, those with a type application are uh, those definitely if you click or if you double click or if you right click and go to open that will open the actual application for you and sometimes their names reflect what they do so take for example the VLC here the application type the file type or the type is application so you know it's something you can run now if i want to get this on desktop how do i send it or one way is to move here and then you drag uh, it's requesting for permission you say yes uh, unfortunately it's on desktop but it's no more there it move it so let's undo and um, this is also a feature we are not used to a lot if you did something or you move something you can right click where you move it from and then you are supposed to see 
uh, is it undo um, 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 this one has shame me ideally like like for example if I delete this okay this one uh, okay for your end okay if you catch the app okay uh, yeah <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yes, sorry for that interruption. Let's move on. So, for example, if I delete this, uh, I think can't be complete because the file is open. Yes, the file is open because. I've opened a uh, VLC here, so it won't work. Um, let me bring it back. Yes, move it there. What I actually wanted to show you didn't work. If you delete something and you right click there, it's undo there. You're supposed to see an undo. Let's, let's just try to do it. It can shame us like that. Let's say, for example, we have this. Uh, I've deleted you see undo delete and that will bring it back this is just what I wanted to to show but that is by the way so and you can just drag it to and it's gone if you go undo it will come back now if you want to delete it but it shouldn't go to recycling bin it should go off totally I think you press shift and then you either drag it there or you right click so it's gone totally and that still has the on uh, read on redo delete undo new and then um, the file no longer exists and that's it so right now let, let's actually come back to what we're doing that is by the way uh, so if i want to get this another way is to right click and then i'll go to send to and then i can backstop so it's here and then it kind of erase this part and that so so i have vlc on my desktop now so whichever program after installation if it doesn't come you just have to go to the programs folder and then right click and then you go to send and then send to if you go to send and then send to you be able to do it now I personally don't prefer seeing those things on my desktop. I always want it to be clean. What I normally do is every month everything that comes to my desktop I gather it and then I put it in a folder. So at the beginning of every month things will come and then I'll at the end of the month I'll bundle everything into one folder and I'll name it let's say January twenty eighteen folder. So I always want my desktop to be clean so alternatively is to pin the programs on tax uh, the tax bar this is my tax bar and it's at the right side you can easily move it to um you can get some place to hold to wherever you are and to come to the knob you can turn it to the right side to go you can move it up to go so basically wherever you want i want it at the right side because i want uh, the vertical view of things uh, so that is why I've moved it to the, this side so that I can type a lot without scrolling. So basically, that is it. So you kind of pin the things on tags bar. For example, this is a Google Chrome. So if I wanted to remove it, I'll right click it and then I'll go to pin. And that is it, it will pin it to the tags bar, it will remain here. So that is also one of the alternatives to make the things easy to open <coughs> instead of you going to the folder that right you can pin it here and it will remain now what is next if you pin and it's full like mine is full now now uh, you can look through i don't use this often then maybe you remove it you replace with those you use often now alternatively that is what actually this video is about alternatively is used um, to open them from this place run run and to get the run you type a uh, control plus r on your keyboard um i hope is the the query layout 
control, uh, control plus run that will um, no no control window window that uh, with microsoft uh, that is the light uh, the microsoft the key with the microsoft flag the key with the microsoft flag and uh, this is what i mean um, uh, let's say microsoft key um, logo. let's try to see if i can show it uh, yeah that is here this one so if you press it plus r mostly is at the left side of the space bar the space bar i think is this then you have the alt the alternate key then the this key will also be there which is called windows key so if you press that one and then r let it r it will bring here everything in your computer every application in your computer you can open it here every application in your computer you can open here you just have to know the name you have to use now for example like the test i did i normally open a uh, notepad a lot that's why you see notepad there so if i want to open notepad i just type it here notepad and it's open so i don't have to get notepad on my desktop i don't have to pin it so i don't have to go into the installation folder of notepad and then try to <coughs> click and open it i just have to press run and I'll type notepad here and it opens and it opens so that is it and basically every program on your computer you can open it the same way so let's try a few of them let's say this is notepad and um, paint if you want to open paint you say um, ms paint and that should open paint it shouldn't shame us yes it didn't shame us so paint is open and you can be doing your things everything so that is it <coughs> that means if you need paint you don't have to memorize or bring it to your desktop you just have to know this name and i must paint and that is it if um for example if i want to open word i know people don't use the well, listen, most people don't use the paint or the word we use excel and then excel, you just type excel there and that is it it will open it and if you really aside you being fast sometimes uh, there is really the need to be able to assess it through that way through the run now for example if let's say you've come to pick my machine going to work with it you can get to office you look desktop there is no word there there is no excel there you look at the tax bar it's not pinned there so you have to go and call the person where will i find excel or like uh, come on open excel for me no you don't have to you just have to press the window flag and then the letter r and then you type excel and then you press enter and that's so you know where excel is on the machine it will pull it up for you and it's even actually serve as a test so if you type excel you know you type it correctly and it doesn't open then what it means is the person hasn't installed excel on it so any program you want to check on someone machine too you can just try the name here if it hasn't if it isn't open then what it means is the person hasn't installed that application on the on his machine so and where before i forget this is you can even open websites from here if i type the um, google.com it will open it yeah so the same way if i come to your machine i really don't have to know like uh, where is your browser or uh, where can i find your browser i just have to here and then you put it and what happened is it uses your default browser on your computer that's the one it pulled automatically and then it assigns whatever you type to so aside the program install on your a computer you can also open websites using the the run and a whole lot of programs that like basically every website you can open it here uh, one thing i've just realized is uh, for example if you take the www off it will tell you that it know it it's not able to resolve it so you have to print the www but here if you just type 
google.com to open it direct without adding the www but if you try doing it here you have to bring the www so if it's ghana web uh, just www.ghanaweb.com and then to open your browser automatically to launch the ghana web for you so that is it for for example if i want to open word i'll type uh, in word and that is it when word opens that is it if open word i don't have to ask you where we install word no just type here and then uh, win word and that's all is open so now the question is how do you get the names if you look at it here uh, I use a notepad, I use a, I think a MS Paint, MS Paint, I've typed WinWed, I've typed Excel, I think a couple of them we can still um, access Pub, this is this open publisher, yeah, so what it means is a MS PUB open publisher, so how did I get to know these names, is it like, they go we know notepad so i type notepad where why did you type, type word if we type just word will it open no it will not open but if we type uh, excel we are fortunate it open so how do you get around this name how do you get to know the names uh, well uh, that is a little hardest part of it you kind of have to memorize them the more you use the more uh, you get used to to them but there are locations you can find them every for example when we went to check the vlc uh, we go to install program system 32 the 86 architecture is the same as like it, the 32 runs on the x86 so they kind of work the same way so then we search for vlc now it's spelled vlc so basically this is what you type here vlc so next time if I have to open VLC, I know I've done it before, so it sticks. And then if I need, I just type here VLC and it opens. That's all. So where do you actually locate these ones? Now to be able things on your computer, you can group them into two, like the softwares on your computer. Uh, you can group them into two or well, let's say let me group them into two just for this tutorial purpose uh, if a teacher asks you how can you make can you group them no it's not what i'm saying this is just for this tutorial so we can group them and say let's say the the automatic ones and then the the manual one and what i mean by automatic is those programs that right after installing your operating system you get them right after installing your operating system you get them a typical example is the the notepad the paint the paint the um, your keyboard the virtual keyboard or like the soft version of your keyboard this keyboard uh, you don't have to install it right after installing your windows it comes so let's say uh, you have the the keyboard that is a soft copy and then um, basically if if you really want to know them you go here um, here a lot of them are there um, windows this is where the installation goes then search for system 32 so and then like the how we identify them you search for those type that has a type of application application extensions okay so from here this one starts with application so all these ones are like utility programs small small programs you can use in your computer that you didn't install like manually you got them right after installing windows so this is where the names come from so the notepad if you search here you see, see the notepad that is it there um, command prompt that is it there so that means if i type here cmd to open command prompt for me um the osk i type is here um 
let me see we can have right also here is that it yeah right so if i type here right it opens a kind of word but this is a small version of word but you can use to type everything if you listen you don't have office on your machine you can easily use this one to type everything and then do your printing this one comes right after installing the the window so these ones automatically uh, they are there for you utilities you can you can use and you are good to go so these are the this is what form what i mean um, the the automatic ones now if you go to the manual the manual what i mean by manual is those you install yourself like you install word you install vlc you install um vlc install spss you install photoshop or like cs suit you install um, whichever program you use to work which was to you know, depending on what you do then you install a software maybe some you do publications you have some software for book designs and stuff like that so those are the ones i call manual those ones don't come here they don't come here they go into their respective folder so if you take um the word for example they should, you should see a folder called word and uh, strangely if you come here all the things i was typing here relating to the office suit you see them here so you can see excel here that means if i type excel here to open you can see the publisher here you can see access here you can see outlook here so that means if i type outlook uh, just outlook it should open the outlook um, application for me so that is that is just how it is that is just how it is the word um let's see this is powerpoint so powerpoint is p o w e n the powerpoint that means you type this one to it to open powerpoint and that is it that is how the one who did the software decided to call it he called this one win word and then call this one excel so you just have to get used to it. and that is it so this is how you also find how to call those ones and um, this is the win word win word i realized um i tried it if, if you change it to let's say word you can access it here again Work. so you have to get used to how the developer called it and, and that sort so that is it for, um, and I think uh, you can have the calculator here too things here LC no 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 calculator is in the system 32 it comes right after installation so if you type calculator here it's to open calculator for you automatically instead of you going to search for it uh, that is it so you just have to type here CALC and the CALC but that is how it is called in the system 32 folder so that is how you have to call it so now let's see um, some of the other applications if you go to the installation and uh, let's see for example OBS studio let's say i've installed this um 64 this is it obs studio now let's try another application uh, let's see team view uh, the team viewer uh, team viewer that's it here so like it's called team viewer so let's type here team viewer I mean, if you want to open Team Viewer here, so we just have to type a Team by Team Viewer. Uh, unfortunately, it will not work for a reason I know. So, let's say Team. It's not about capital or small. If you make it capital letter or small letter, it will work. Like, it's not case sensitive. Technically, that is how they, they try to confuse you. It's not case sensitive. What it means is if it's. If the word here is capital letter, you can decide to type all of them small letter. If they are all small letter, you can decide to type them capital letters. It will work, and you can try to mix them. Called camel casing. You can try like how they done this one. It's called camel casing. 
beginning of each word is mid capital letters and the rest are small so it's kind of go this way so like camel casing so like the hunch of a camel so that is how it is so um typical example like email email you can say it is not case sensitive so what that means is if i am to give you my email let's say um this is my email so if i'm to give you this email um, notepad and i type it like this for you if you are typing it into like if you're sending me email you can decide to make it kaunda and then maybe just make this one o you can write it mix it up it will work and if i type it in all capital letters you, or like uppercase you can decide to type everything small letters or like lowercase it will work so and sometimes i do hear it like someone like especially on the phone say my email is let's say k a u n d a then you ask capital letters or small letters no email doesn't matter whether you make it capital or small it will work but password matters if i tell you my password is k you have to type it k i have to tell you it's small k or it's capital k if it's capital K and you make it small K, it will not work. So that is the case sensitive that came across it. So now, I, why if I type like uh, Tim Viewer, it doesn't work. Am I getting the spelling wrong? Okay, then let me copy it. So if I copy and then um, I type Tim Viewer, still not working. So um let's try another application uh right flash desktop uninstall let's see if you can find the actual application what we do is we go into details and search for do that says application so it's either this or this so i think it's this this one says uninstall so if you want to uninstall you click this but we want to open it so let me see okay it's opening so now if i copy this and i paste it here eh, it will not so what's the trick that is what we are going to look at now so uh, for it to be open here there is a place you have to register it for uh, no matter where you did the installation into if for example let's say you are into some software things and uh, let's say let's say game 2 i use this one for uh, editing this is it game 2 so if i want game 2 to be able to um actually if i want to be able to open like game 2 here and it will work i have to go and register game 2 a special place in the computer so all those things we are opening here that are working they are actually registered at that special place in the in the computer so what that means is we whatever we want to show like to be able to open there we have to go and register it and that place is called the uh, uh, should I call the environment okay but let's see it um, if you go here your computer um this is my computer in windows 10 and hopefully whatever comes next it is i think from windows 8 windows 8 windows 8.1 and then windows 10 or regardless of which version it is called this pc so if you are let's say migrating from those machines and coming here you will not see uh, my computer again that one is gone they've changed that word to this piece so if you click if you right click you go to properties and then go to advance and then mostly it will be this way so you go to um this advanced yes and then you go to environment variables so now here uh, under the system variables you have to search for path this path now if you click on edit then this is what comes so everything that shows here 
that you are able to open it from the RAM is registered here it's registered here so whatever program you install let's say if I install uh, this is data studio or whatever software I have to come and register it here. and then how do you do that before I can open it from the RAM so how do you do it that way it's simple you just have to go to that program let's see um, we come here maybe it's let's say notepad plus plus it's called notepad plus plus so let's see if it will open from here okay that one is ready is there that means it's registered already so let's search for um southern this one and this is the compiler so let's open this go this is not opening so it's not opening do I have installed it it's not opening. so how do I register it it's simple once you've navigated to where it is the setup is if you go to the realist application this is uninstalled is this one we want then top here you copy the path like the directory just highlight you copy everything then you go to that environment place and paste there that is all you come here go to advanced you've opened it already that's why just so it will be advanced environment variable then under the system variables you look for path if you double click or you edit click edit or you just click and you see new the all will give you the chance so here these are the existing ones in it so you just have to go to new so it's giving me the option to paste or to type so you just right click and then you say paste and then you okay it you okay it you okay it that's all so now if I type S A S S M it should, it should open the program for you so basically that is that is it let's try another one let's say um my screen let me see if my screen open my screen doesn't open so just have to come here it's hard okay let me see query browser it's called query browser so this one if i type it here right doesn't open so if i want to register it i'll just copy it here copy everything and then um where is it where is it system 32 we come here advanced mostly if you which will be on the my computer tab you have to navigate to this so here go to edit uh, like uh, no it's the path you want i just double click so add new and then i'll paste and then i'll okay it i'll okay it i'll okay it and then now if i paste it here no the query browser um, if now I use this name um, you should now open the query browser for me yes and I can log in um, what I see the login is something different but it has actually opened so yeah it's opening so basically that is it if it's not registered there already that is how you register it and from there on you just have to register it once it doesn't matter whether you install like shut down the machine on it you only have to do the re registration if you do new installation other than that it will be there forever and if you want to know whether it's there or not there's a simple you, if you go to command prompt and then you type path so this is everything that is showing here um, not here path hey, all these ones that is it here that is it here so the first one is here there's command the second one they are separated by a comma so if you look here and then you can see 
a, a path to whichever software you are looking for then that means you you can run that software from from the run like from here so basically that is that is it for 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 today and i hope it's helpful initially it might not sound like it's a big deal like something worth investing to know but if you really if you've been using the computer for a while I like uh, certain things you <coughs> really have to get them like ready go you have to, you have to come to your computer and ask you where do i find word where do i find excel where do i find powerpoint no if i just come i don't know how to type it uh, in word and that is how it is on every uh, windows machine every windows machine so any machine you go and it's win with uh, like it's windows then you know it's win with then if he says something like it doesn't exist then that means the person has installed that software on his machine so you don't even have to worry yourself searching again and like you've seen you can also use to open websites and yeah and i think i've also seen how you can create that link so that you can access it through the run here so basically that is it for the end uh, as usual my name is kaunda and uh, if anything at all you can get in touch and on level two three four eight seven nine zero one zero eight yeah that is it you can also chat on skype and then uh, the stream is that is my skype handle and yeah hang out to the same thing is web streamers the same thing um, um, extremist yeah and if you add dot com that is my 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 website so basically anything computer like feel free and then let's communicate if i don't know i have my big brother uh, uh, she google <laughs> together we google it out and then we all learn from it so basically that is it for today and uh, sorry for the initial interruption that was my boss giving me a key and i have no option than to stop what i'm doing to uh, to pick that kid so uh, bye